Let's play! Hi guys, and welcome back to our daily Amiibo Tap shenanigans. Today, we are actually going to be using my most recent Amiibo, and the one that took me forever to find. The Smash Bros, Rosalina, and Luma. Um, this is also my most expensive Amiibo. Because, uh, well, it was exclusive to Target. At the exact same time, all Targets in Canada closed. So, basically, I ended up having to spend about almost triple the price compared to what a normal, you know, uh, amiibo would be. I'm gonna register quickly. And uh, we have registered it. I've named it Rosetta because it's actually a Japanese amiibo. You can't tell the difference and they're not region locked. Um, and in Japanese, their names are Rosetta and Chico instead of Rosalina and Luma. So today we will get a Super Metroid. Yo. So I have Super Metroid on my virtual console, but I uh I really haven't played it. No. I feel like it's definitely a game that I need to sit down and get into, you know? Um and I know people love it. I know I know Metroid is Super Metroid specifically is one of the best Metroidvania titles ever. Graphically the game looks utterly amazing even nowadays. I mean, looking at this right now, I cannot think of many um even even like indie titles and stuff that have such an atmosphere. It's very cool. Um, it's funny that people take me for much more of a Metroid fan than I actually am. Um, when we were doing my, my birthday stream, um, I basically just was doing some of my, my favorite games that I've, I've played, you know, throughout my life, and everyone thought Metroid was gonna be one of them, but I really didn't play Metroid much. Um, Metroid Prime 2 was my first Metroid, if you don't count playing the Hunter's DS demo on my cousin's DS. Um, Prime Hunter's first hunt it was. Um, but no, it's like, I haven't, I'm not the hugest Metroid player. Um, I did do the Let's Play of Other M, where I discovered that, you know, I don't necessarily think it's that bad. Oh no, I said the words, but, um, that's what I, what I truly believe. We're gonna die here. Well, not die, you can't die in this, I don't think. Because this happens, and he runs away. And you have to escape. Hopefully, when I go to the next scene, it doesn't just do this again. I really wonder what the scenes are gonna show off for this, though. I wonder if, like, they're gonna spoil, you know, Crocomire and stuff. Even though I haven't played Metroid, um, Super Metroid, I have, you know, watched a lot of playthroughs of it. Um, Metroidvania games in general, I'm not even really the biggest fan of playing, because I get, you guys know if you watch my Let's Plays, I get lost hilariously easily. Um, is there a run button per chance? I, there probably is, and I probably am just not pressing it. Whoa, okay. Nintendo showing off Mode 6. Which, to be fair, if you think about it, the, um, it's, you know, rotation of sprites? That's something that's pretty crazy. Scale at, in, active in-game rotation and scaling of, of pixels is uh, something that was kind of unheard of, really. So, and it looks terrible in the best of ways, you know. So let's go to the next scene, because we're just going to descend on Zebus, which I guess is the next scene. No, right here. Yo, we just straight up fighting Kraid? Okay. This is actually so cool. Um, this is basically Metroid Boss Rush, which is a, uh, uh, a fan hack of it. So, let's use some, some super miss some missiles on him. So I want to get him into his mouth, I see. This is all new to me. Um, okay, so we gotta wait for him to open his mouth. Come on. I did not know I could ride that. Come on, open your mouth. Go, yeah. I think you do it by shooting his eyes. Okay, there we go. Oh, God. I'm really sad. Kraid is such a cool villain, and yet, like, you don't see him other than, like, here and in Smash Bros. 
Like, he's in Metroid 1. This Metroid. Um... He's not in... He's not in other M. He's not in... Uh, Fusion. He's not in any of the Primes. Which I gotta say, Prime 4. When it happens, because it's totally gonna... I... The first thing I want to see is just a giant crate. Like, God of War-style huge boss fight. Oh, God. I'm actually doing so terribly. It's kind of cool how his hand, like, blocks it, though. Like, it's a... It's definitely a very neat... I got some super missiles. Oh, God. Eh. No. Yo, okay, there he goes. Bye, Crane. See ya. Whee! There we go, that was that was the crate fight, I guess. Is he that early in the game? I think he is. I want to go back and fight Mini Crate though. Everyone loves Mini Crate. Where's Mini Crate? Also this guy. He's like the only other character. And uh apparently if you look at like the actual suit that he wears, it looks very similar to uh in other ones. Here's Mini Crate. Baby Crade. Crade babies. We'll make our dreams come true. What a strange, strange enemy. There's definitely a sense of wonder to this game, though. Um, oh my god, we're totally fighting Krokmeyer. This is the coolest fight. Let's, let's use a super missile when he roars. So, this fight is infamous. Because basically, you're, um, it's a tug of war, essentially. Oh, come on, that should have worked. There we go. You want to get him to the far end. Come on. Oh my god, he's actually giving me such pain. go. Sorry about that. Uh, I really hope I'm not totally in trouble now that he's, uh... I don't know. I have no more missiles. I mean, I can, I can grind for them, I think. Wait, can I use a charge shot? idea. I might be screwed. Darn it, I missed that one. That was a super missile too. Come on, drop some more missiles. Oh, you don't have the magnet beam in this one. Come on. Oh my god. I'm doing so terribly. It doesn't help that I've never actually fought this guy. Um, this is- I've watched many, many things of him, but... Yeah, no, we're not gonna beat him. Okay, next scene. Lovely. Ah, this is literally just a boss rush because you could beat these guys in under three minutes So you basically from the amiibo get a boss rush of Super Metroid Which is actually really cool okay, So I know you want to wait for his eye to open Um, oh, I should probably use a charge shot um, so this guy is actually the bonus boss of Other M, and, uh, I have so many missiles, why don't I just use those? Um, I haven't got to him yet, I'm planning to sometime in the future, because, I mean, it's actually pretty cool that he's a bonus boss in that game. 
Um, and I would definitely like to see him. I mean, I watched a, a playthrough to just see if it's not stupidly hard, and it's not. It's, uh, it's, you know, not the worst. So, I'll try. I'd have to, I have to go and get every item in that game, which might just be a little annoying, but open your eye. Oh, wow. That was a short amount of time. I think he's gonna appear right away. Just pop out. Yeah. I love the, the noises the enemies make in this game. Um, it's scary. Like this, this game in general would freak me out if I played it as a kid. Um, I didn't, but I could definitely see it doing that. I got freaked out easy as a kid though, so I shouldn't say that. It's like even Mario, Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door freaked me out. Where there's like a lottery in the game and if you, um, if you cheat it by changing your your, um, the time on the, the, the GameCube, uh, which I did a lot because I cheated in Animal Crossing, um, the bob -omb would start screaming at you, and it's, like, worse than Rossetti. It's actually really disturbing. Like, I didn't like it at all. Um, so they gave you a lot of items here. Like, we have freaking... I think we almost have 100% up to this point. Maybe even more. Okay, can you avoid this by going in the corner? Or... Okay, he's gonna appear. I wanna open your eye, bro. I don't wanna jump, because I can't get him when he's in the air. Is he dead? Yeah, we did it. Just in the nick of time. Uh, is this, this is Dagon. Yo! Where is he? This guy's freaky. This guy's the one that, that's really gross to me. Something about the way he looks. The other ones are, like, cool. This guy's, like, just weird. I'm surprised they skipped the plant boss. What's his name? Um, I totally forget what it's called. There he is. Okay, so let's just switch to... See. Oh goodness, I am being attacked. Okay. Where is he gonna be? Oh my goodness. I can't get out. I have no idea how to attack this guy. I mean, I hit him a few times, but... No! Oh my goodness. Okay, there he was. So you want to attack the belly, it seems. Okay. Couldn't grab me while I was in that. Oh, it's getting faster. Where is it? Oh! Wow, this guy's tough. Mind you, I'm also coming in with zero experience just hopping into... A late game boss, you know. Totally let him grab me because I knew that HP was there. Okay, we got him with a super missile at least. I don't think we're gonna beat this guy in time. Or is it a girl? I always sort of almost thought it was a girl. Like it's like a mother thing, you know? Although the creepy head at top doesn't m mean anything really. So it's gonna come from the side now. Okay, we're not gonna beat this guy. What's next though? Ridley Scott. So this is cool. We get to just fight any of the Metroid bosses at any time. So let's use uh missiles though. It's 
kind of pogoing around. See, like, if Ridley was this scale, he could be fine in Smash Bros. I don't know what people are talking about. Ridley's too big. Yeah, the one that's in it is, but that's not this Ridley. It's a clone of this Ridley. It's kind of a failed clone, too. This is gross. It's the gross Ridley. He has a lot of HP, it feels like. But then again, so do we. And ammo. We have a ton of ammo. I'm just wasting all my super missiles. Because I can come back at literally any time. So, is, is the last two literally going to be like... Mother... Is, I think it's going to be meeting the baby and then Mother Brain. Which is such a hilarious selection. It's interesting, because, I mean, they know that the, by the nature of this game, they can't really give you a section because of how the game is explorative, you know? I am actually doing so terribly in terms of my... Oh! Or not. I was going to say in terms of my HP. Bye, Ridley. See you in Smash Bros. The Stage Hazard. No. Canonically, next, he's, uh... Dead, I think? I'm not sure. But the baby is gone! Are we actually gonna see, like, the baby here? Is this where we're gonna be? Or are we gonna be in, in the mother brain? Are we gonna have Metroid to deal with? I think right... I have no idea really where we even are. That's a Metroid. Was a Metroid. Yo, okay, no, this is the final area, because there's Rinkas coming in. So, yeah, we're, we're gonna get to Mother Brain, it feels like. Oh god. Oh god. Get off. How do you... How... How... I have to... How do I get it off of me? I am so screwed. I actually have no idea what I'm doing wrong. It has to be a way to get the Metroid off of you. Well, that's fine. We're gonna die. Let's see what the final scene is then gonna be. Oh, here's the actual fight with Mother Brain. I guess they wanted to put in the actual, you know, Metroids. Hopefully we don't get killed by the Death Cheerios over here. Okay, this is actually a crazy hallway of death right now. How do we not... Wow, man. I've seen people just blaze through this hallway. I have no idea how they don't get hit. There's Mother Brain. Okay. Oh my goodness, the Rinkas. Ah! I, it's strange that they give you the final boss to fight. It really is. I mean, I guess it is iconic to the point where it's not even a spoiler. It's just a cool thing, you know? Man, I remember seeing this for the first time and I was like, Oh my god, that's the final boss, are you joking? Because uh, I didn't know. Um, I thought the final boss was like the original, just Mother Brain in a tube. It's like, no, we got T-Rex Mother Brain to deal with here. Just pump it full of lead. Reminds me of a chicken, though. It kind of really does. One thing I've also noticed is that Metroid music is perfect for the situation, but I don't want it on my iPod because I don't think it's actually good musically, but it's like the best to fit the situation. Like, this is such great music for this scene. 
but it's it's terrible song, you know. Let's see here. I think we're doing pretty decent though. I mean, mind you, I am on a super save file, but still. Oh, I don't think we're going to see the thing. Oh, we might. There we go. And then we die. So, the, I don't know if you can actually, at this point, possibly see, like, the end. Um, because, yeah, no. Seems like it's too long to see the hyper beam. Spoilers, kind of, not really. Man, what a cliffhanger, though, for people who haven't played the game, but also what a spoilery ride. Alright, that was Super Metroid. Who knows, one day I might do a full playthrough of it. Um, that's one of those games I'd have to sit down and do, though, like, totally. And, uh, it's explorative, which I'm never fun, never good at. I get lost so easily. Um, but yes, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next game. Ciao!